Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptair Owners Club. On July 15th, 2023, Tesla announced that the first production Cybertruck was built at Giga Texas. Now, um, they're, now they're going to use this for validation, I believe. Um, and then, so it looks like people are going to be getting Cybertrucks within a year. Uh, I think that seems fairly likely at this point. I thought this picture was pretty interesting. If you look at this picture, um, people are holding up this weird Tesla cult gang sign. Um, I have no idea what this this is. Maybe it's supposed to look like the Cybertruck. That's my guess. Um, there's uh, one person who seems very excited to be in this picture. Uh, some guy holding up his kid's artwork in the back here. But uh, yeah, a lot of people. And anyway, this is a big event for, um, for Tesla. And, uh, and congratulations to them. Now, if you go to Tesla's website, you don't see, if you go, you don't even see an option for Cybertruck. You have to like uh, type it in at the top in the URL and you get to this. And if you type in order now, what it gives you is they ask you to just give you a fully refundable $100 rebate and order, put your credit card information in here. They don't really give you any specs or pricing at this point. So I did reserve a, a Cybertruck back in 2019 when it was first announced. And I think there isn't much crossover between people looking at Aptera and people looking at the Cybertruck per se, because they're kind of, they're two very different vehicles. Aptera is a small vehicle that's very energy efficient. The Cybertruck is a large vehicle, which uh, may be efficient for its size, but is not a, not a, a, an efficient vehicle in terms of energy usage per mile traveled. Um, but I think there is some crossover in the type of people that are interested in both of these cars. The Aptera is a, um, an, a somewhat odd looking vehicle. It's unconventional in its appearance and so is the Cybertruck. So both vehicles, the people that drive them do not care what pe other people think about the looks of their vehicle. So that, that that's not something that they, it doesn't phase them what they think. And um, the Cybertruck uses a unique construction method of an exoskeleton and a large stainless steel body panels. And Aptera uses also a different, um, it's a different exoskeleton. It's not stainless steel, but it's fiberglass and carbon fiber, but has a different manufacturing method um, as, as opposed to most other vehicles. So there are some crossovers. And though I have a reservation in on both, and I may indeed get both. Um, and I know Mike from Cyber Owners, he also is a Aptera reservation holder and a Cybertruck reservation holder. So I think there's quite a, there's probably more of us that have a reservation in on both than um, people think. Anyways, when they first announced the uh, Cybertruck, when I put in my reservation, you could pick single dual tri-motor and they said it was 250 miles of range, 300 miles of range and 500 plus miles of range. And it was going to be $40,000, $50,000, and $70,000. Now, I reserved a dual motor all wheel drive $50,000 vehicle. And the, you know, there's been a lot of inflation since then. So, probably the Cybertruck is going to cost more. However, um, if you look at uh, Elon Musk saying on Twitter on July 17, 2023, he's responding to this thing where it's Ford cuts price on the electric F 150. Lightning pickups by as much as ten thousand dollars. He says Ford Lightning is a good vehicle, just somewhat expensive, especially given the high interest rates these days for any kind of loan. Which makes me think that maybe they plan on releasing at close to these prices because if he's saying that a Ford F one fifty Lightning, which starts at fifty thousand dollars, is somewhat expensive, they must be planning on releasing the Cybertruck at somewhat less than $50,000, which at that point I think would be a great deal. Um, the other thing is it looks like someone called Bearded Tesla, who is a Tesla um, a, a follower, he said that he talked to three people who probably work at Tesla, and they said that he will be seeing only the 350-mile Cybertruck. Uh, so it looks like maybe that they're going to focus on this dual motor, um, all wheel drive Cybertruck, which I think makes the most sense. Uh, if you're going to get a Cybertruck, you're probably going to want all wheel drive. 
and you probably want 300 plus miles of range. And if they can deliver this vehicle for $50,000, I think it will sell well. Um, and so I personally think Aptera looks awesome. And I, actually, I personally think the Cybertruck looks great. Um, it's a very polarizing design. Some people think that this is the ugliest thing they've ever seen. I think it looks great. Um, and I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'll pull the trigger, um, at, and take delivery of this vehicle. I did have a reservation in on a model three and I ended up not taking delivery of a model three when that came up. Um, but this one, um, I'm, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Um, Aptera hundred percent, I'm taking delivery of that, of that vehicle when, when my number comes up, but this one, I'm still up in the air but I do have a reservation on it. If you guys have a reservation on the Cybertruck, let me know in the comments below. Are you planning on buying it? Um, would you buy this instead of the Aptera? If I bought this, I would buy it in addition to the Aptera. It serves two different purposes for me. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? And when do you think Cybertruck's gonna take delivery? And do you think it'll be Cybertruck first or Aptera first to, to put the first vehicle in a customer's hands? Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.